Hey guys and welcome back. Well, welcome to Creative Photography Part 1. Well, in this video we're going to do a floating camera. So this right here, okay? So if you want to know how to do that, well then stick around. Here we go. Right guys, well as you can see, I'm in uh, Photoshop, uh, Photoshop CC 2017 to be exact, and uh, I have a floating camera hovering over my hand, all right? Well, before we get into this tutorial, uh, one disclaimer, please, please, please do not drop your camera. If you do, it's on you, okay? So be careful with that. Now, how this is done is pretty easy. It basically is suspending your camera on a wire, okay? Now I took a piece of orange thread on purpose so you can really, really see it, but I advise you use something like a fish line or whatnot, something that is very strong and uh, hardly visible, okay? Now, uh, again, keep in mind that you need to keep your hand below your cameras at all times, okay? Don't drop it because it's an expensive piece of kit, okay? Alrighty, so what you do is you suspend your camera on a uh, piece of thread like I've done here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to make that piece of thread disappear. Okay, so uh, let's uh, zoom in a bit and we're going to go and have a look at that wire right here. And not only are we going to get rid of that wire, but we're going to get rid of anything in the picture that suggests that the camera is suspended. Now, for example, this electric wire here has nothing to do with the camera, but I don't want people to think, hey, that's, you know, what, that's a line holding the camera or whatever, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go in when we're going to start with the spot healing tool right here. And I'm going to right click, increase the size a bit, and let's just get rid of this because we don't need it. We'll get rid of this as well, and we'll go in and we'll get rid of that wire as well. And try not to go crazy with that. That looks okay. And then when we look at this light in the ceiling, we don't need that either. So let's just take that out. Okay. And that leaves us with our thread. Now, uh, for that, we're going to use our, not our clone, yes, our clone tool, sorry, yeah, clone tool. All right, so what we want to do is we want to move from left to right, because as you go from top to bottom, you'll see that the light will change in your scene, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alt, hold down alt and click on the left right here. Maybe even make that a bit bigger, but not too big. Click alt, and we're going to start to paint that away hang on a little bit too yeah there we go let's just resample hold alt click here work our way down hold alt again and the reason why I'm resampling every time is because like I said the light is changing okay so we're gonna go in and we're gonna click on that let's do that again do that again. Uh, let's move that down. And now we're going to decrease the size a bit. And we're going to resample again. Hold on Alt. That one's too bright. We need to fix that in a bit. Hold on Alt. All right. We're getting pretty close. We're going to zoom in a bit more. We're going to go in here, we're going to right click and decrease the size once again. Hold down Alt. That looks all right. We're going to zoom out again and let's see what we need to fix here. Um, a couple of areas, so we're going to increase that size a little bit. We're going to sample right here and then we're going to... Hang on, hold Alt, yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to brush over like so. And then we can do that one more time here. Now, if you're not satisfied because you think that that's visible, we can go in with the blur tool. And I'll just decrease the size there. Maybe a bit higher. We'll take a little bit of softer brush here. And I'm just going to go in and kind of blur that area out a bit. All right? Now, what I advise you to do is uh, take an area where it's not so obvious that you have a different background. 
So for example, just a straightforward white wall or something, okay? But basically that's all there's to it. So hopefully you have fun with this uh, little tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.